All right, just talk. Um, there's <clears throat> there once was a man named Gold Roger who was king of the pirates. <laughs> he had fame, power, and wealth beyond your wildest dreams. God damn Before you. they hung him from the gallows, these were the final words he said. I hate you. My treasure is yours for the taking, but you'll have to find it first. <laughs> I left everything I own. In one piece. God fucking Since damn Since then, man. pirates from all over the world have been searching for the treasure. Searching for one piece. The treasure that'll make your dreams come true. <laughs> yo! Yo, yo, yo! The fact that you memorized that. <laughs> I'm leaving this in. I don't care. I'm leaving this in. I was you, gonna edit, you gonna edit that? Hello, YouTube. This is VKCrazy09 here. This is Shadow Dragon 808 And welcome back to more Let's Play Danganronpa V3. Killing Harmony. In the last video, we learned the despair-inducing truth of the outside world, that the world is completely fucked, Kokiki has admitted to being the mastermind, and everything is going to hell in a handbasket. On the bright side, we all learned that we're the remnants of hope, and that we're going to fight despair. Yay! Hey. And hey, if Kaito dies, then Suichi's chances are 3 to 1, so... <laughs> <laughs> Three to one for what? The chicks? The yeah. girls? <laughs> wow, man. Great great statistics. Hey, man. You want to count Kibo? I mean, uh, Kibo? Kibo doesn't have parts down there, I don't believe. So I hey, think we he don't can... know what Miu did to him. He's equipped. <laughs> yeah, Miu probably had something to do with that, more than likely. Let's be honest. Uh, that's something I didn't want to think about. Moving on. Yeah, so the odds are four to one. So yeah. Anyways. Oh, uh, <laughs> God, no! No! What it- why? Why? Oh, I could ask- oh, yeah, we were about to- we have to talk to Maki. Let's talk do- Talk to everyone else first. I don't think we did so. Did we? Okay. Yeah, we'll talk to everybody else first then. If we don't stop the Kiki, a remnant of despair, then this despair will never end. But something like this would be essential for my magic. It's forward, flowing with hope. After you've undone the alarm system and let you play, leave it to me. Kibo, what's up? I will not let Kokichi's despair win in the end. As a student of Hope Speak Academy, we must unite and fight back against despair. Sunugi? How did I forget I was a student of Hope Speak Academy? I think, I suspect that Kokichi <clears throat> was very deliberate about erasing our memories. Because we've gained newfound power now that we remember we're Hope's Peak Academy. Kikichi was afraid of us awakening the power of Hope. Let's do it, Suichi. Let's rescue Kaito and stop Kikichi. So, something else I wanted to point out. Mm -hmm. I realized we made a mistake. What? When we first dulled out the characters, I actually had more characters than you. Oh, yeah? Because I took Kaide and four girls. You only had three women. Huh! We split the guys up perfectly, but because Kaide was a factor, we didn't we didn't give you one of the females you were supposed to have. So from the get-go, it's been nine and seven. And I, I still <laughs> lost more characters! <laughs> Everyone I goes died except Kibo. Oh man, I don't know looking so good for Kibo. Not anymore. No, it's really not. He was screwed. I'm sorry. I'm just death incarnate. <laughs> Alright, what's up, Maki? How we doing? <clears throat> How do you plan to get past the alarm system and barrier? I'm gonna kick it. <laughs> really the, fucking with hard. The, with the electro hammer. You hit the control panel with it, it should save the electric barriers. We did the same thing for the electric lock to the outside, exit of the outside world. But, it won't work the same way on the alarm system, will it? The alarm will go off before we can even get close to the electro hammer. Then we'll use this. Ah, is that... Is <clears throat> convenient that he left oh! all the stuff behind. No, he didn't leave it. She ran up and choked his ass out, remember? Oh, yeah. She snatched it then. Why do you have that, Maki? There was only three, and I thought Kikichi had them. Stole it from his pocket. Like a boss. Dang, that time. <laughs> As expected, you're a, cl you're a kleptomania and terrifying glare of both first class. <laughs> I 
don't think that was a compliment. That terrifying glare was quite a joke. So, can you stop glaring at me so terrifyingly? Nice work, Maki. We can use that electro bomb to get inside the hangar. No, I like that. It'll disable all communication. Kibo, I think you should stay back. He for really that. should! Unless he wants to be TKO'd for two hours. That should include the remote control computers for the exiles. If we use the electro bomb in front of the shutter, it should affect the entire hangar. The Kikichi will be as good as butt naked. All I have to be able to do is hold his crotch in hand. <laughs> we might still be able to control an exile from inside. Butt naked? No, I'm pretty sure he'll be closed. Then we should bring the electro hammers as a precaution against the exiles. Dang, I just left mine sitting around without charging it. Yeah, sorry, but I did too. It takes 24 hours to charge an electro hammer, so we'll have to wait until tomorrow morning. We're going to wait until tomorrow morning. What about the hangar? We don't really have a choice, do we? Without the electro hammers, it's impossible. Maki, I know you don't want to wait a single minute more than necessary. But we shouldn't try this until tomorrow, when everybody's ready. Fine. That's what we'll do then. This time, we'll definitely kill him. Kill? No, Maki, you can't. Even if he's a regiment, regiment of despair, that doesn't... But if we kill him, then everything will end. We have no other choice. For that reason, I will kill him. But you can't. I understand how you feel, Maki, but we don't, but we feel that after we kill her. It would be no different than the killing game that has caused us so much suffering. Yeah, that's still the thing Lemons and Spur Akira would do. <laughs> but Kaito said the killing is wrong, remember? So, we can't. Fine, if everyone thinks that way, then I'll listen to you guys. But if it seems like annoying dangerous is gonna happen, then I'll definitely kill him. Wow, Maki's actually reliable. No, she's dangerous. There's nothing more dangerous than a heated Maki roll. <laughs> when a Maki roll gets too heated, you could burn your tongue. Do you see those eyes? They were like a predator looking at its prey. Uh, you may have deserved that, Himiko. <laughs> God damn, sweet. But it's true that this is quite unexpected. I didn't think we'd be able to stand together as one again. And it's thanks to Maki. Over his sedent sedentary feeling sorry for herself, she was planning. I suppose it might also be thanks to Kaito. Because Kaito was worried about her, she promised to work hard and do her best. Ah, uh, of course. If I pointed that out again, or after, if I pointed that out, she'd ask me if I wanted to die again. <laughs> what are you? Ah, uh, sorry. <clears throat> Let's do our best. Then the three of us can chain together. Yeah, right. Let's do the other thing. <laughs> I resent that! Chain will do you no good, Kiba. You're not gonna get any stronger. But I can train to become a better human! <laughs> just just give up. It's okay, Kiba. We, we understand. But, but! We finalized the, our plan to get the exile hangar tomorrow morning. Until then, wait, we would. Wait for the ex electro hammers to recharge and finish preparations. We split up, focused, and determined. What's the time? I don't know. Survey says. Yes! First, we need to charge the electro hammer. But I shouldn't just stand around waiting. I need to make up for lost time. There has to be something I can do. Snap his neck! No, that's not true. There has to be something I can do. Right, I should scout the area. It'd be a good idea to check out the scene before we plan ex- pl Oh, I guess not. Oh, why? Right. Execute the plan. And I'm worried about Kaito. He's hurt. And he's sick. I'm sure he doesn't want me to worry about him, but I have to. Alright, I'll go. First, I gotta tidy up this room. It's disgusting. Mm. Oh wow, there's even a little cable going out. Oh wow, yeah, I Plugged didn't, into I the didn't notice the hammer. Alright, let's go. 
Hello, Kibo. Quick check, Monothumus. I think we're ejecting here. Hmm. What's up, Kibo? Oh, Suichi! We must rescue Kaito, no matter what. If we are if we're to defeat this bleh, defeat despair and we find new hope for ourselves, I'm certain we'll need him by our side. Yeah, you're right. It was thanks to Kaito that we're all like, working together again. Let's save Kaito and stop Kokichi together. This is the beginning of our new hope. Uh, I'm not having good feelings. All right. Well, at least we got a fucking plan for once. Yeah, we all right. Actually, is anybody out here? Nope. Okay. Anybody out here? Ah, yes, there is. God damn it. Yumiko, stop being depressed about Tenko. <laughs> I've got so much motivation now. I can't wait to do the electro hammer recharges. Oh, I, I was completely off base. Calm down, Yumiko. If you expend all your energy now, we won't have anyone but we really need it. Yeah, I see. That's true, too. But who would have imagined that we're the last soap of humanity and this was a spaceship? That's not right. Are they really gonna throw away the whole manic magic theme just like that? <laughs> what are they talking about, magic theme? What? She said that a while back ago. She was like, that's way too sci-fi. Wasn't that theme magic? And Tip. I think the only other theme was magic. <laughs> right, 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 right. right. Ah. Was was there a magic theme in the first place? We Tsumugi, what's up? Did you come out of your room because you couldn't calm down? Yeah. I was the same. I couldn't stay still. This morning I barely had the willpower to get out of bed. It's all thanks to Maki. I can hardly believe it. Maki, who was so Sundari in the beginning, is now one pulling us along. Tuh! <laughs> but it's probably because of Kaito's influence. Huh? Why do you think that? Because I'm not blind. Have you seen his classes? <laughs> uh, why? You can tell just by looking. Maki's interested in Kaito. Otherwise, she wouldn't be watching the hangar the whole time like she is. Uh, yes. Uh, I suppose that's true. Are you shocked? Will you guys in some reverse love triangle situation? Not really, but I just didn't consider emotions a possibility. N no, it's not like that at all. Wow, I didn't mean to shock you like that. Yeah, I just meant to mock you about Maki. I wonder. While we're here at Hope Street Academy, did we have fun and tease each other like this? Well, we were in different classes, but I'm sure we had friends like that. Even if we can't go back to that time, there's still hope left in the world. I'm gonna keep living with confidence till the end. That's my vow as one of the last students of those two academy. Yay, we leveled up again! <laughs> Alright. One more level and we'll reach our final form. Why level 64? Why is that our final form? Oh. Keep going, I should reach the hangar. If Kokichi's in the hangar, there's a good chance the exiles are patrolling nearby. I should be careful. Oh. Uh oh. Am I gonna actually have to stealth this? Oh man, that's why there's so many corners and corridors here. Oh shit. What is though? I can hear it. You hear that, right? Ah, uh, can't. Oh, now I hear it. You hear it in the left, right? Yeah. Oh, it's getting closer. Come on, go away, you fucker. Oh. Uh, oh. Play. They're cornering Monokuma? Huh? Monokuma? This is the first time we've seen him in a while. Are the exiles protecting him? But why now? A while four of them. Kokichi's been them. controlling them, right? Yeah, where's the fifth one? Kokichi is controlling them, right? So why would he do that? Wait, if the exiles are here, they aren't guarding the hangar. 
This is my chance. Suichi, you can count. <laughs> the game is purposely making me stupid for plot reasons. I should hurry, but carefully. I don't want to draw their attention. Monica, hey, Suichi! I see you! All of them turn. Oh, fuck you. The alarm is enabled. The electric barrier is up, too. I can't get close to the shutter. And I only saw four exiles. Oh, there it goes. I don't know where the other one is. Perhaps inside the hangar? Hopefully I can find a good spot to survey the scene. If I remember correctly, there's a bathroom with a small window there. Ah, right. See, I told you this green light was important. Ah. I think I said that. There's a window. The bathroom window? I can see inside from there. I peeked into the small window. And saw a silhouette on the other side. Ah. Hey! What are you oh, doing here? Alive. Kaito! Don't shout, stupid. Kokichi will hear us. Uh, is he close by? No. I'm locked up in this bathroom, but Kokichi's just outside that door. It'll be bad news if he sees you here. He's got the Exosols with him. No, he doesn't. Yeah, that's true. Wait, so what are you doing here? What am I doing here? Saving you, of course. What? By yourself? No, I'm just scouting the place. Tomorrow morning, we're all coming to rescue you. All of you? It was Maki's idea. Honestly, I... I had given up. We had all given up. But not Maki. She did everything she could to get you back. It's because she believes in you, Kaito. She knows that you would never give up, no matter how bad things got. Y yeah of course I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. Even if the world has ended and humanity has gone extinct, I can't give up. Sit. It'd be a crappy story if the hero gave up so easily. Yeah, that's right, Kaito. Don't you worry. I'll do something about all this. That's a promise. All you guys are working well, so hard. What the fuck are you going to so do? I can't just sit back and relax. There's something I want to ask him. I don't care if he's overconfident or acting. I just want to hear him say it. Don't worry, it'll be okay. It's just... I'm happy you guys want to save me, but stay safe, okay? Getting close to an Exosol is dangerous, even if you've got an Electro Hammer. Got it. Uh, by the way, are you feeling okay? Apart from the injury, obviously. Who, me? Yeah, of course. That's nothing. Anyway, Kokichi should be back soon, so we better end our chat. Ah, okay. Sure. And hey, Kaito, about what happened with Gota. Shuichi, I leave the rest to you. Well, if that's no. not a death flag and a half. No! Why would you say that? Fuck it, stop pulling what? a Kaide! While I'm gone, you gotta support everyone, especially Maki Roll. Didn't Kaide say the she same thing? Sometimes. I believe so. Yeah. You're an impressive detective, through and through. You might not only reach the truth, but something even beyond it. What could Kichi forget. already be dead? <laughs> He's been dead the whole Don't time. Don't do everything yourself. It's only gonna wear you out. When times are hard, you gotta rely on your friends. Rely on your you friends. Crushed him with the compactor. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, that wouldn't work. Cause remember the thing. Uh, oh yeah, right, right, right. That's it. That's what I've been neglecting. I believe in you. So I'm leaving the rest to you for now. You got it, Shuichi! Kaito, thank you. Thank you for being my friend. Yes, I understand. All right, now get going before Kokichi comes back. You're right. See you tomorrow, Kaito. Oh man, this is gonna hurt. After leaving Kaito with a smile, I return to my room. <laughs> wow, I feel great! Kaito's There's gonna be dead and somebody's gonna kill Kokichi and because of it. Nah, oh, man, I hope not. There's no point in wandering around. I should stay in my room and relax. I tried to get myself into the right mindset for battle. Well, I was meditating on it. Hey, I see you're holding up a <laughs> love hotel key. <laughs> it became nighttime before I knew do it. Do we have another one? I don't think we do. I think we used our last one.
Great. More silence. Will we go with Dawn. I won't hesitate anymore. Kaito has taught me. I have to do it. To live. To find a reason to live. I will fight. I spent that night with the that thought nestled deep into my heart. <laughs> Don't panic. Just stay calm and listen. Well, if you're watching this Monokuma Theater segment, it's already too late. Uh... You kids might not know, but it's a 100% cotton mask like me. Hope is, well... Tough as... The thought of seeing young people brimming with folk killing each other just to survive? Watching that hope fade away? There's nothing more disparaging than that. My dear students, killing humanity's hope, betraying, deceiving, and killing each other. It makes me oh so sad. Oh, I did long to see everyone's despairing faces soaked in blood and tears. I've gone and done it. What? The fuck does that mean? I've gone and done it. Yeah. Uh, I'm not liking this. After the empty announcement from Monokuma, I jumped out of bed. Alright. Here we go. First to the dining hall. I grabbed the charged electro hammer and ran out of my room. Oh, I don't even get to smash in my room. Fuck me, I guess. <laughs> I exited my room and then I ran into her. And Shocky standing there. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Sorry. Uh, the game, the game's not ready yet. You can't continue behind this point. <laughs> Thanks for playing the extended demo. <laughs> oh, what man. game ends? Oh, no world order, huh? Well, yeah. Is everyone ready? Of course, my electric hammer is all recharged. At that moment, I realized one of us didn't have their electro hammer. I don't need that weak shell smash it with my hand. Maki, where's your electro hammer? I don't need it. I'd rather not use a weapon or a familiar weapon. This is much better. Damn! God damn! <laughs> <laughs> gonna stab with it. <laughs> Kokiki, you're gonna she just get- chucks that thing! Goes down like its tail by- Yes! On the inside, just lands back in her hand. Alright, you coming? <laughs> <laughs> A knife? Well, I suppose you know best. Then, we're off? Ah, before that, there's something I want to say. I scouted the hang route yesterday. You scouted out the hang? Yes, and I discovered that Kaito was trapped in the hangar's bathroom. Bathroom. I see. That's certainly the best place to lock someone up. Why would you be aware of this? And I also saw Monokuma by the Aya hangar being protected by four exiles. So we have to be careful that we aren't spotted. Oh, oh I saw that too. What? You saw that? Were you at the hangar too, Kibo? Yes. I thought maybe I could get through to Kukichi before we carry out our plan. So I went to the hangar last night and tried to talk to him. You tried to talk to him when you him? I'm sorry. I thought it would be preferable to hi for him to release Kaito peacefully. How did it go? It went about as well as I expected. There was no response at all. Damn, dead. But I did witness a few things. Mm -hmm. What did you witness? We can discuss that later. No? Okay. Hey, Kibo! <laughs> what the fuck? Thanks, Kibo! For now, I I'll went to the bad guy's lair, and I saw some things. What did you see? Eh, hey, that's not important. Let's move on. Why'd you bring it up? For now, I'll share what I saw that's relevant to our plan. Suichi saw four exiles that appeared to be guarding Monokuma. Well, I saw one of them enter the hangar. Just one? Yes, the green exile. The green one. I'm sure I saw that one guarding Monokuma. I made sure to say out of sight while I watched. Neither the alarm system nor the electric barrier reacted to the exile's presence. Does that mean the alarm system and the electric barrier don't work on the exiles? Considering it's where the exiles are stored, that would appear to be a safe assumption. Anyway, there's two exiles in the hangar who should be covered. We only have one chance. Because there are only four this is our only electro ball we can't afford to miss. That's exactly right. 
Well then, we're off for real this time. Let's go! We must end this killing game once and for all, no matter what. Energize and motivated, the group rushed out of the dining hall, one after another. Alright, here I go. Chips blacks out. <laughs> <laughs> game over. Oh, uh, here we go. I'm not comfortable with the music being new classmates of the dead. <laughs> what are you singing? Oh god, we're going fast. Yeah, man, so he's just booking it. It's time to go. He was moving like a fucking uh, slug a moment ago. That was when he was inside. He's outside now. He can, he's got his running shoes, man. He's, he's in a Pokemon now. Holding on the Bebo. <laughs> Now we're inside. Stuff though. Everyone wants to go into the hangar already. I shouldn't be God late. damn, we were outrun by Himiko? God damn. <laughs> She's been practicing since Tenko gave her uh, motivation. Uh oh. jeez. Oh, oh, that's not good. The situation seems a lot worse here. That's not uh, good. Not what the fuck is wrong with their tails? They're, uh, maybe they're out of power? Uh -huh. They haven't been plugged in for a while. Monokuma's not here. You should have been protected by the Exiles, and the Exiles... They don't look like they're going to move. What's going on? And there are only three of them. There should be two more in the hangar. It's just like Kibo said, we should consider ourselves lucky that there's only two. It's all five of them here, it would probably be impossible to execute our plan. Alright, let's keep moving. Oh boy. Everyone is here. Let's get started right away. I'm ready. Maki, are you ready with your Electro Ball? What do you think we're going to do? Oh, who do you think <laughs> you're talking to? <laughs> it's similar to a grenade. It's such a detonation and rides a good option to push the switch. Let's roll and try to shut it. Chip the saw it with a lamp system. This won't fail. The Electro Bomb has an effective range of 50 yards for at least two hours. If Kokiki's remote control is disabled, We'll stand a chance against the Exiles. Oh god damn it, Kibo! What? I saw some shit! I better be careful not to get too close to this Electro Bomb stands right next to where it's gonna go. Yeah. You see where this is going, don't oh, you? Oh man. Yeah, so you see Kibo's where this is going. going. He's gonna out. get this. He's not gonna be able to tell us anything. Yep. Until the class trial is about to start or something. Or something. Oh man. But be ready for the worst. We might have to use the Electro Hammers. If he gets into an Exile, I'll stop him no matter what. With this hammer. Yeah, you're right. What's wrong with you all? Are you ready to start you now? Yeah, alright. Let's go. Maki triggered the electro bomb and rolled it in front of this shutter. And then. Wait, was that alarm system green the whole time? Wait, green? It wasn't red, was it? I don't know. If it was red, it means it was active. If it was green, it means it was disabled. I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't either until I just looked up and saw green instead of red. Maybe that was just because it switched. Mm, the alarm system is disabled. Now we can approach the control panel. Sweet, gee, will you do the honors? Oh, okay, I was wrong. Alright, leave it to me. Good thing I remember that $50,000 code. Alright, if I hit the control panel with this. As I swung the electro hammer down, I suddenly noticed. Oh, oh god, it's covered in scratches. The control panel was covered in marks, as if damaged by something sharp. Sweet. What are you doing? Hurry up. Sorry, got it. No time to think now. I aimed my swing at the control panel and brought it down as hard as I could. Monokumo was trying to get in that bitch, and he couldn't. Let's go! <clears throat> we ran into the shutter all at once. We won't let Kokichi do whatever he wants anymore. You better be ready. This is it. The remnants of the spare end here, and oh, now. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Who's dead? I don't want to open this Schrodinger's box. 
After opening the shutter, we burst into the electro ha into the hangar. Electro hammers in hand. To end this. To end this killing game. To end this despair. What? 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 What are they? No! Oh! No! No! <laughs> Fuck! What? <laughs> Motherfucker! The body has been discovered! Everyone, please gather at the Exosol hangar! The killing game just keeps going and going! The despair is not over yet! Son of a bitch! Also, I just want to point out that the electric hammers are a lot bigger than I thought they were, and they're made out of stage mm -hmm. lights. Yes, yes they are. It's cool. What is this? What's going oh, on? Oh god, what the fuck is this music? Oh shit. Yeah, but seriously, so um Oh it's fucking Enoshima! Oh no. What? It's because we turned down the volume, remember? Hmm. Chaos and madness. Confusion and turmoil. I couldn't say calm. I couldn't keep it in. It was too much despair. What is that blood? The body discovery announcement? Does that mean someone's in that dress? Who? The only ones in the hangar were Kokichi and Kaito. It must be one of them. What? Either Kokichi or Kaito is dead? Oh, look! That was close. They're Kaito's. Then the one in the hydraulic presses. No, it's not possible. <laughs> Looks like you have lots of twists and turns and slid out during the class trial. That's what that killing game is all about, after all. And so I'll now pass out the Monokuma file. Don't say you're getting bored of this, because things are about to be interesting. And if you pour your heart out and soul into this investigation, too. But hold on! We have to investigate? So the killing game is going to continue? The killing game will continue. If the killing game is going to continue, and Monokuma is still moving, then... He is the master of Kikichi is still alive. Uh. Kikichi is still alive, then that means the one dead over there is... Kaito? No, it's not possible. There has to be some mistake. There's no way Kaito could die. He has to be a lie. I made a run for the body when... Calm down. Maki's hand stopped me. Calm down? How can I say- How can you say that, Maki? Kaito is- I've seen so much death already. Death for both good and bad people. It doesn't bother me anymore. It doesn't bother you? What are you talking about? More importantly, where's Kokichi? That's right. I don't see him anywhere. He could be somewhere in this hangar. He ran away? We need to catch him immediately. He's obviously the culprit. Let's split up and look for him. Leave no stone unturned. No matter how good at hide and seek he is, we can't let him get away with this. Wait. We can't leave yet. We don't know for certain if that dead body is Kaito. We haven't explored all the possibilities yet. If it's not Kaito, then who's dead in there? Saying that if it's good, it's good, KG. Then the killing game, why is the killing game still continuing? And if Kaito is alive, why hasn't he shown himself yet? Are you saying he's hiding because he's the culprit? 
don't say such stupid things. Taito being a culprit is even more impossible than him being dead. I don't think Taito could have killed Kokichi in the first place. He was wounded, remember? His, uh, his opponent, the mastermind of the killing game, could control the exiles at will. How could Kaito have killed someone like that when he was sick and wounded? I don't know. I just... I'm just saying it's possible. Well, it's quite simple, actually. <laughs> See, he took off his jacket, and he went all Zoro on that ass. <laughs> and he tied up Kokichi's head, and beat him into the toilet, dragged him to the press, and then crushed him with it. Uh, and even if that is Kokichi that was killed, that doesn't mean Kaito is the culprit. So does that mean the culprit is one of us? Wait, that's impossible! No matter how much, how shocking Kaito's death is, saying that we're suspects is going too far. I understand what they mean. The initial evidence suggests Kaito is dead. But I just can't believe that. Or perhaps I don't want to believe it. I can't believe Kaito is dead. Let's investigate. We need to find the truth here, with our own hands, and reveal the truth in the trial. So you want to continue the killing game? The class trial will be held either way. We should investigate. I don't know if we'll find hope or despair, but we have to find the truth. It all starts there. That's right. I have to do this. To keep my promise to Kaito. You're right. If the class trial is going to happen anyway, then we should investigate. Uh, but we already know the answer. But we can't die here. We decided to live for hope. My main concern is how Kokichi will react if we accuse him of being the culprit. He's just gonna play dumb and run away. There's nothing we can do. No, I don't think so. Junko and Asuma cherish the killing game rules. If the remnants of despair worshipped her, I don't think they'd ignore those. They'll leave, then it'll be easy to deal with him. We just need to vote for him at the class trial. That's true. I understand the others, but why Maki? Why is she accepting Kaito's death so easily? Well then, let's review the Monokuma file. Is that okay with you, Suichi? Yeah. What? What? Well, fuck you! Fuck you! Well, now we know it's Kikichi down there. <laughs> the victim was crushed by a hydraulic press and is unidentifiable. Well, this is literally Stuart's cat, isn't it? Is Kaito dead? Is Kokichi dead? That's... it? That doesn't tell us anything! The identity of the victim is unknown, the time of death is unknown, <laughs> the cause of death is unknown... Doesn't even tell us that much. It doesn't matter, we already know who the victim is, the culprit's are. The culprit who killed Kaito is definitely Kokichi. Wait, Maki, it's still early to decide that. It's true that the evidence points at Kokichi being alive, but... Kaito told me. <laughs> Don't you worry, I'll do something about this. That's a promise. You guys are looking so hard, so I can't just sit back and relax. I want to believe in the promise Kaito made. I don't believe in that with me. I refuse to investigate with you. Huh? What? Why? You're not calm at the moment right now. You're acting like Kaito back in Gantz's class child. It was like this at that time too, wasn't it? You can't fight the spirit with just belief. It's not that simple. Maki turned her back to me and left. Maki. There's something about the air in here that's making me feel off. I don't know if the electro bomb is to blame, or if I'm malfunctioning somehow. I'm starting to feel somewhat sick. I don't feel weird at all. It's not because of the electro bomb. He was an electronic appliance after all. D don't call me an appliance. I'm 
telling you, Atlantis should go rest outside. Really? I'm fine, but I suppose I'll go investigate outside for now. Kibo left the hangar, swaying side to side and up it. Then I think I'll start investigating too. Oh, will you be okay by yourself? I can go with you if you want. No, you don't have to worry. I'll be fine by myself. The body was like that, and we don't have to worry about anyone messing with it. So it should be fine for us all to investigate by ourselves. And they go left in a hurry. I wonder if Himiko suspects. Suspects who? Everyone. Because if there are a few of us, there are a few people we can be the culprit, right? Of course, it's obviously Kokichi. But like you said, there could be another possibility. Maybe that's what she's thinking. I did suggest that possibility. The culprit might not be Kokichi or Kaito, but a third party. Anyone can be the culprit. We are united towards the hope before all this, but now we're split up. Could it be that that's why Kikichi killed Kaito? To disrupt our harmony? Because if not, then what reason would he have to kill Kaito? Maybe that's what this class trial is going to be for, too. The reason Kokichi's going to hold this class trial might be to separate us. To separate us? In the end, we were all gathered around Kaito. He was the one keeping us together. That's why he killed Kaito, then we're completely caught in his trap. This is all part of Kokichi's plan to separate us. This is exactly what he wanted. We're split up. I can't get anyone to cooperate with the investigation. And we don't have much information to go on. The Monokuma file has been some help, but it's not enough this time. No point standing around complaining. We've got to do it. Time to start. Time to solve this mystery and find the truth behind it. I'm going to begin the investigation. Investigation start! What? Well, well, god damn. I'll start here. Hope searching. Alright, I'm going to inspect every single piece of evidence here. Nothing will escape. That exile is suspicious as all hell, considering it's not open. Hmm. Kikichi's just sitting inside. <laughs> They'll never find me here. Sir! But I told the press is down. There's blood in the area. The hydraulic, yeah, the hydraulic press is controlled by those buttons. If we use this to lift the hydraulic press, we should be able to check the body. I don't really want to do that, though. Yeah, the body is in really <laughs> bad condition. Like, like, is it worth it? Just check. <laughs> These controls might move the dog press. You can go up, down, and stop. I should be able to use the up button to raise the press and check the body. I don't want to see a crushed body, no matter who it is. But I have to do it. I have to know. I made my mind, took a breath, and pressed the button. Huh? It's not moving? What? I pressed the button a few more times, but the press wouldn't still wouldn't move. Strange. It moved it when I pressed it last time. After looking around the press, I found... The power cord is cut. I see. There's no power, so I drive press won't move. Blood next to it. This can't be a coincidence. The power cord was cut on purpose. This must be the work of the culprit. Oh, I know. The power cord is right there. In that case, we won't be able to check the body. I'm honestly a bit relieved, but I shouldn't say that aloud. Let's take another look at the controls. There must be some clue here. In addition to the emergency control buttons, there's also an emergency stop button. The press would have been stopped instantly if we used this. Well, if the couple were planning this murder, they'd have no use for it. What concerns me more is the safety function. That's right, this old drug press should have, the sa should have had a safety function. The infrared sensor detects a living thing. The pressure stop. Oh, and that's why he cut the power. Uh oh. If there's no power to the thing, it's more likely that if it was started, it might have just dropped. Ah. Uh. If the infrared sensor detects a living thing, the press would stop automatically. Well, I don't. That explains the splatter, actually. That's the way I'm. I'm thinking. Because right it now. goes slowly crushed. 
that it would have just gone everywhere, but it slammed down. Yep. Well, I didn't. It didn't stop when I keep it tried before. If the sensor detects a person, the safety should have stopped the press automatically. Stop automatically, huh? Well, actually, there I'm looking at. My yeah. question is the trail. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go with that next. What is this? Blood stain? There's a faint trail of blood leading to the press. A swipe pattern as of drag. It looks as if it's coming from the bathroom. This bath blood stain suggests something was dragged from the bathroom to the press. Or maybe, just maybe, that's this. By what? I said vice versa. Ah, possible. It's a pa panel that controls the, system, the alarm system and the electronic barrier. I don't see any reason to turn them back on, though. Alright. There's an exile right in the middle of the hangar. The hatch is open as well, and the cockpit is exposed. So this is how it looks from the inside, though. It's small, but big enough for one person. Oh. The hatch is open? That's strange. Only the monocubs can turn the electronic lock open the hatch. Only the monocubs can open the hatch? Normally, the monocubs are the only ones that can blow up the exiles. Normally, being keyword. Because of that electro hammer thingy, the electro lock is all screwed up. Have you mentioned this to anyone else? Nope, no one asked me about it either. Even if I had been asked, it would have been irrelevant information for you anyway. Hmm. The relevant information that I decided to come out and give to you out of my whatever. Which means that it's relevant to this case. Yeah. Well, an electronic lock on the hatch that only the monocubs can disable. Which must be why only the exiles. The monocum, bleh, monocubs can control the exiles. But if you can disable the lock, you can control the exile. But why, how are the exiles moving before if no one was inside them? This Kokichi has. Shadow clones. That's it. The red exile is completely still. Zuichi, it's dangerous there. If you go near that thing, you might get torn apart. No, I shouldn't move anymore. Not without the monocubs or Kokichi. Mm, so it's just a power scrap then? Jeez, don't scare me like that. Maybe I should have just turned this fucking joke apart with my magic. Uh, but I suppose if, uh, if Kokichi was alive, he could move it at any time by remote. And then why did you save that sooner? That is if Kokichi is alive. But that remote control Kokichi has is for the exiles. What is it exactly? Does he have that because he's a mastermind? And now we're just shouting at questioning if he's a mastermind or not. Right? And I've been doing that for a while. That's the the, the, <laughs> the Monokuma <laughs> The Monokuma file this time barely has any information in it at all. Uh Sumugi, are are you okay? <laughs> Well, let me read that again. The more I couldn't follow this, I feel like he has any information in it at all. The hell was that? Sorry, I dropped the character for a moment. <laughs> yeah, it won't be much use to us. So useless, the problem should have given, um, gone out of his way to give it to us. Oh. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> Are you talking shit? It's fine, it's fine. Matt Scott's parents at a medicine brings a sense of relief and peace of mind. <laughs> he popped out! What an attention hog. Of course I want attention, I'm the mascot for crying out loud. And yet I've appeared fewer times than that thing James the Moogie over there. It would be false advertising if I didn't appear as often as I can, you know. Fuck you. The advertising? What advertising? Ignore it. Let's just focus on the investigation. Yeah. What? I don't want to talk to you right now, okay? The way you are now, you might start accusing people because you can't believe Kato's death. No, that's not... I don't want to hear your excuses or anything else. Just don't talk to me. If you keep bugging me. I'll give you a afro hair with my magic! 
He's awfully stubborn. Is that is she that suspicious of everything now? Or is the is there a reason she doesn't want to talk to anyone? I plead the fifth! And the sixth and the seventh! <laughs> this looks like a car wash. I can imagine it's for playing the exiles. Doesn't look to have any clues. Okay, cool. Right. This is the bathroom. Now I think about it. This is the place where Kaito was imprisoned. Kaito might have cut, left some kind of clue here. Ugh, no. He didn't leave anything. He might not be dead. Anyway, I should investigate inside. Uh oh. What? So, I swear to god, I thought that, like, the toilet was red with blood. What the fuck? Although, uh, was it red before? Do you see that? What? Oh, the arrows and the bolts? Someone got shot three times. Oh is, that, oh, is that the poison? We got a bottle, the crossbow that Kaito put together, and some bolts. Yeah. Huh. So, wait, okay, so, someone drank the poison, they died from the poison, and then they were crushed by the thing? I don't know. A blood stain. A puddle of blood in the center of the room is a swipe pattern from the door. What could this mean? <laughs> What could this mean? It's as if this bloodstain on the inside of the door is connected to the bloodstain outside of the door. <laughs> there are arrows on the floor of the bathroom. A total in three. Or three in total. And blood on all of them. What is this? What happened here? It's almost as if someone was hit by arrows. Well, Kaito's whole, uh, jacket had a hole in it, remember? Yeah, yeah. So maybe that's one of them? Well, well, I guess poison? we'll never know what this poison is, other than it's poison. There's a small bottle in the corner of the, of the bathroom. It's empty. I feel like I've seen this before. The label has blood all over it. I can't read it completely. But I can see the word poison. How convenient. Yeah, it's almost as if somebody wanted you to read that. And if it is poison, this bottle must be taken from my lab. I don't know who brought this here, but it definitely has something to do with the case. Oh! Type of convenient poison bottle. Tip the arrows in fucking poison and draw and shoot that motherfucker. Oh! The question is who shot who though? Kaito would have had this, right? Fuck. Hmm. Thinking, because it's like if. Uh, uh, if Kokichi was the mastermind, he sees everything, right? Yeah, of like, course. So, so he would have known how to build the crossbow too. So we can't rule out anything, really. Uh, How would Kaito have even had the pieces to build the crossbow? Right, that's true. Unless Maki brought it to him through the window. Oh, uh, fuck. She'd been scouting there day after day. Uh, A crossbow. This is... One of the Ma crossbows from Maki's lab. Why is okay, this I have a theory. Yeah, I, I have a theory too, and I'm not liking it. What if Kokichi really is dead, and Kaito himself is hiding somewhere, and Maki has this big plan set up so that... Kaito escapes. Yeah, and gets to get a space. Uh, oh, man. Fuck, no! Come on, Maki, no! There's still some things I haven't... Oh, there's more? Toilet? The toilet? Oh, there's the box. The bag. Bag. Oh! The bag. Yeah, I missed that. I didn't see that. Ah, it's a case. This is the case from before, right? Okay, so if you want. Ah, shit. Come on, Maki. Why would you. There's the window. Let's Small window for ventilation. This is... The same window from before. But if Kikichi is dead, then who's the mastermind? Fuck! I'm still saying it's Samugi because fuck it, why not at this point? <laughs> I've been saying it's Samugi the whole time, so why the fuck not? Yeah, yeah, right. 
a small window. Although it could be Kibo. It could be. There's that a distinct a, possibility that. That like, is a very the, distinct the possibility. Voice, the voice that he hears in his head is like. The Anoshima the, AI? I was gonna say, like, um, the mastermind from his little skybox giving him commands. Ooh, that would be fucked. It's a small window, and it doesn't open all the way. No one could fit, be able to fit through here. Hmm. I suppose if someone could fit through, Kaito would have escaped by now. Perhaps it's too small for a person, but an object could do it. Hell, if anything, the biggest plot twist is that the mastermind wasn't among us, huh? <laughs> Ooh, that would be some shit. Alright, I've finished investigating the bathroom. More clues than I thought there'd be, and one is particularly concerning. Why is a crossbow from Maki's lab in here? And three bloody arrows. These arrows are definitely for the crossbow, but why are the three all bloody? And that bottle of poison. What could that have been used for? And there's still so much I don't know. This case looks like it's gonna be tricky. Alright. I don't see where it would be much else to investigate other than talking to people now, right? Uh, what? It moved! It mo oh, oh fuck, it moved. Why is it out here now? <laughs> that freaked me out the most of everything. I saw, I just thought I was seeing shit. There's an exile in the middle of the hangar. The hatch is open, the car exposed. What? What? We're not gonna comment on the fact? That moved. No? Oh, Smoogie, please, Smoogie, explain. No? Okay. What? Oh, okay, guess we're not. Uh, are we tripping out? I swear to god that thing was nowhere near Smoogie earlier. It might have been? There's a sleeve sticking out of the press. It's definitely Kaito's coat sleeve. In that case, the victim must be... No, that hasn't been determined yet. We need to investigate further. It looks like the left sleeve is sticking out of the hydraulic press. Only the sleeve is sticking out. No part of the victim's body is visible. Were they correct completely? So that only remains the sleeve? Hmm. What's this? The sleeve has a single small hole in it. A hole in the sleeve. What could this be? I guess we should have seen that. Yeah, I should have seen that before it went into the room. room. I suppose that's about all the information I can do from the hydraulic press. I can't check the body, so I don't have any clues to work with. Have to find more clues elsewhere. Yeah, I guess we should have. We still have to go to Mafia's room. Whoops! That's about all I can investigate in the hangar. Here are still questions. The truth is still far out of reach. I can't deduce who the victim is. I need more clues. I should investigate other areas. I can start with the areas around the hangar. That was scary, man. Like, come on. The arm system mobile is off. It must still be act affected by the Octo Bomb. I should investigate this place thoroughly. There must be some clues still around here. For example, the giant fucking thing with scratch marks on it. Yeah. I'm assuming that was Monokuma. Because I don't think he was being protected. Yeah. This is the control panel that controls the electronic barrier protecting the hangar. We hit it with the Electro Hammer, so it isn't operational right now. That's right. Why are these marks here? It looks as if it's been struck by something sharp. What can these be? Oh. What? What if they're not Monokuma? What if it's Maki who was trying to get in there? With her knife? With her knife. That's what I was thinking initially until you brought up Monokuma, but it could be either. Most likely. Hmm. I don't know. Ah, uh, wait. How were we even able to damage this in the first place? Getting near the control panels can cause the alarm to go. Okay, so it's not Mafia. You have to turn off the alarm before you even get close. So how did the person who did this get near the control panel? Kibo! Hello! Phew. I think I'm starting to feel a little better now. I'm sorry to worry you, Suichi. Uh, I was a bit worried. I'm glad you're feeling better. There's something I need to ask Kibo. Hey, Kibo, before we went into the hangar this morning, you said... I've seen some shit, bro! Please, let me tell you! <laughs> no! <laughs> Don't say it now, it'll be spoilers. 
Ah, right, my bad. We have to find a body first. We must hold them in suspense! You guys are really doing things weird. Don't worry, it's all according to plan. All according to plan. I have the zoom of Dandere. Makoto Naegi's zoom on, on class trial procedures. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said you said that you witnessed a few things. What exactly did you see? Ah, since we were in a hurry, I only told you about the exile returning to the hangar. Yes, you said the exiles could pass through the alarm system and barrier to the hangar. I never imagined something like this would happen, so I didn't mention it before. Before the, I saw the exile, I saw someone heading toward the hangar. I saw someone. I saw... Himiko. Mm. Oh. Did she slip him the weapon? Oh, man. At that time, I assumed she was going there to examine things or plead with Kokichi, and since she came back later, I didn't think much of it. But, after seeing her reaction this morning, I started to get a little suspicious. But, she was acting like she had something to hide. It's not that I want to suspect her. True, that is suspicious. You said you saw her come back as well. Was she holding the bag at the time? Now that I think about it, she didn't. So she had it coming in, but not leaving. It has to be that he the black bag Himiko was carrying was. By the way, this is a little off topic, so we can bust. Huh? What is it? The reason I wasn't feeling well may have been due to the electro bomb. But it was because of the electromagnetic particles, not because I'm a robot. So what ex what I experienced was akin to an allergic reaction to such such as hay fever. So it could have affected a human being the same way. Being a robot had nothing to do with it. Ah, uh, right. That must be it. So that thing Himiko said was bothering him. He really was a bit too sensitive. Alright. Got Kiba's account. So, what if, um, Himiko supplied the weapon, Maki supplied the poison? Everybody gave him shit, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Suichi just gave him motivation. Oh. Oh. Hello. What you have it? Oh. This was Maki's. Yeah, she didn't have one. There's an electro hammer here, but why? It must. It's out of power. It must have been used. But used for what? If the electro hammer's power is expended, it requires 24 hours to recharge. We know that for certain. I remember the sight I saw yesterday. Exile is protecting Monokuma for some reason. When Kichi said he was the mastermind, the Exile should have been around him. So why were they still protecting Monokuma? And four of them, too. I suppose I was so caught up in th about thinking about Kokichi, I ignored Monokuma. Oh, hello. Pay attention! Listen up! Take heed, I say! Monokuma? It's just... I noticed that you came this way last year, right, Suichi? Huh? You were acting all sneaky, weren't you? Like a teenage boy trying to creep into the adult movie section of the video store. But you don't need to sneak around, because the XLs wouldn't have attacked you. What are you saying? We didn't have to sneak. Everyone's coming out to their adult movies, so in a way, everyone's getting it at the same time. No, not that. I meant about the XLs not attacking us. Oh, at the time? The X was an autopilot injected to only observe me. The movements are still uh, more limited now that the monitor was around to pilot them. Autopilot? You mean the remote control that Kokichi has? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, that dirty motherfucker. So the exiles were being controlled by Kokichi's remote control. But they were fo focusing on Monokuma. Why are you telling me all this? This puts the person controlling you at a disadvantage. We're not talking about that. We're talking about this. And if it puts someone at a disadvantage, the past job must always be fair. Because you shared that info with me didn't seem interested in sharing it with you guys. 
So you share it, so you share it instead. That way it will be fair to all participants. So someone else besides me knows this. Why wouldn't they share this information? Okay, that's all I can tell you. By the way, renting movies is so old school, it's not good to illegally download them. It's like trying not to get caught by a big game hunter who's holding your dreadful decks. What? What the fuck? What? I'm gonna pretend he didn't say that. Move on with my life. This is information about the exile is gonna be a good Yeah, he's like, no, that. fuck that. I'm not touching that one. I should remember this. Alright. Hey, things. What exactly did I witness here? I know for certain the exiles were being controlled by the Peachy's remote control, but why were they focusing on one Okay, they're not gonna tell us anything else. Alright. Not gonna look at these cords? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, oh well. Nobody else in here either. Hmm. I've investigated thoroughly inside. I should check around the hangar. Something that's been bothering me for a while, though, is, um, how did the electronic doors open these heavy-ass shutters, but we're, like, using electro hammers to break the security? That's... That's actually a question. The fuck? That's bothering me all the way back since, um, we found the door in the outside world. Huh. There's nobody else here. Where the fuck do I investigate now? Uh, maybe it has something to do with the door itself, maybe? Hmm. Or, or the window? This is the bathroom window. This is the hangar's only window, and it's not possible for you. That means the only way to get into this hangar is through the shutter. Okay. No, I'm gonna get out. That was a little bit. Did we talk to Kibo directly? Yeah, we talked to Kibo. The hangar shutter. Oh, okay, cool. Ah, uh, what's this? There's a security alarm here. You have to use the alarm remote to stable it and get into the shutter. If you come near the shutter without the remote, a loud alarm will go off around the entire academy. We had to use the electro bomb to disable the sensor and the alarm. So we got into the hangar. Now I think about it, there are three electro bombs total. One of them was stolen by Maki, but what of the other two? That's a good point. Yeah. That's all- okay, that was the last thing. That's about all I was concerned with in the hangar. I just don't have enough clues. There has to be more. The other places that I might yield some clues are Maki's lab and my lab. The crossbow in the bathroom, the bottle of poison. I need to investigate those leads. I should also inspect the three exiles that were protecting Monokuma. Why were they protecting him in the first place? It might be related to the case as well. Oh boy. This is gonna get complicated quick, isn't it? Oh, yeah. You can only imagine. Is there anything else I can do? Nope. Okay. We're done here then. Also, yeah, no. This song is fucking great. I'm like. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was looking forward to this. Technically, this is a chapter 5 song. It's chapter 6 is when stuff gets all freaky and trippy. And then we reveal that we were in a virtual world all along. That's it. As the world breaks down literally around us. No, not a virtual world. We're in an Inception game. Oh, God. I actually read a fan fiction where that was the actual plot. Like one of the <laughs> one of the talents was the um, the ultimate dreamer, wow. and so Junko and Ishima had hooked him up along with everybody else to a big machine and used his talent to create an endless loop of uh, killing games. Wow. <laughs> and so no matter what, everybody you would go in, you would die, and then the game would reset because it was a dream. I actually never finished that because towards the end it got really crappy. I feel as though there are less weapons here than I remember. <laughs> that a rough estimate, Oh, yeah, right. It's 
because Kaito had him. Uh, okay, we're just investigating the black cases. Oh, and a gun rack. Oh! Huh? There's a gun missing. Oh! But those are only airsoft guns. Look at all these guns. Even if they're all airsoft guns, it's still a remarkable sight. No? Not gonna comment on the fact that one's missing? No? Okay. Well, we'll use that later. As I suspected, there are two black bags here. Identical to the one in the hangar. There are cases for the crossbows, and the crossbows are inside, but this is assembly. It looks as if they don't even fit in the case unless they're just assembled. But there are only two. When I was here with Kaito before, there were three of them. Oh, maybe Kaito asked her to go and get it for him? Mm. And I'm sure that Kaito didn't have a crossbow with him. In that case, the crossbow in the hangar must have come from here. Which means someone must have brought it to the hangar from there. But it's fairly difficult to put the, together the crossbow. I don't believe you'd be able to do it unless Maki taught you. I'll think more about that later. But now I need to impress you. This. Okay. So that leaves my lab. Or Suichi's lab, I mean. Yeah. If Kaito is alive, though, where the hell is he? Right? Why are the fuck is he Maki? He's may maybe he's hiding in Maki's room or his bedroom. Actually, yeah, where the hell is Maki? She refused to investigate, but. Yeah, where the fuck did he go? What? The last time she refused to investigate was Chapter 2. Yeah. Well, that was for different circumstances. Are on this floor? No? Great. Maki just jumps us around the corner. Tackles the shit out of his knife through the neck. Oh god, why? Bottle of poison in the hangar. I need to confirm it came from here. Knight's hate antidote? Harm lock. And Dude, it's just what I'm needing a lot of you. There are a bunch of bottles on top of the desk. Can someone take them out? What the hell? Arsenic? Oh, arsenic. Arsenic? Is that how you actually spell oh, arsenic? Yeah. Huh. These bottles say antidotes. Antidotes, huh? I didn't know they were here. According to the labels... Heal arsenic? <laughs> poisoning? I don't think you actually can. <laughs> According to the labels, each bottle is only one dose. And each one only works on a specific person. Poison. Well, poison. Well, I suppose that makes sense. I play different kinds of poisons, so it must be true for antidotes. There are several bottles of poison lined up here. I haven't seen any poison outside of this lab, so... The small bottle of poison I found must have come from here. Huh? There's a little less liquid inside this bottle than the others. Strike 9 poison. The label says Strike 9. This poison takes some time to spread, but even a small amount of it can be lethal. Damn, so dip the arrows and type nine and wrap the six. <laughs> yes. I can't imagine that there's a smaller amount of this bottle for no reason. This must be a clue. So the other bottle of poison must be a red hand of some sort. Strike nine poison and antidotes. This is disconcerting. None of these antidotes are for strike nine poison. They're all for different poisons. What could that mean? Alright, I've investigated this room thoroughly. I didn't find any evidence to suggest Kaito isn't dead. On the contrary, there's plenty of evidence to suggest that Kokichi isn't dead. Monokuma is still moving around, and the killing game hasn't ended. And Kaito's clothes were in the hydraulic press. Which means the victim must be. No, it's too soon to be thinking like that. If I investigate a little more, I'll find something. There's still time. I should head back to the hangar. Perhaps I missed something. I should check again. By the time we get back, then the. Systems will be reactivated, but they won't go off because they were deactivated the whole time. Hmm. You think so too, right? Yeah. Cause, like I wasn't paying full attention, but I believe you're right. They were being.
I almost went in a Korakio's uh, lab thinking it was yes, the fucking stairs. I thought it was the stairs, I wasn't thinking. It's like, this is the way out. Enter. Oh, right. This is the incest room. Let me get back out of here. <laughs> That's what you're talking about. Chapter 5. This is not because of the job, you know, this stuff that I'm supposedly supposed to be dealing with. This is Kiyogi Makoto exe execution level stuff. So, yeah. Bring it on, we can take it. We're not gonna handle this well, are we? <laughs> yeah, no. We're fucked. Bring it on, we can take it. We're not gonna handle this well, are we? I don't want to do this. I don't want to kill so I don't mind if it's Kokichi. If we're killing Kokichi, I'm completely okay with it. I have no problems. I'm not that fortunate. I know for a fact we're not that fortunate. You see, here's the thing. In my head, I'm like, I don't feel like we're done with Kokichi. On the other, other hand, what could possibly be worse than having to kill Kaito off? Right? Oh, no, you're wrong. Maybe we're going to confront uh, Himiko. Yeah, true. Do that. Oh, there's Maki. Oh, Suiki, can you come with me? Is something wrong? I found something strange in the bathroom. Please hurry. Oh? He shouted quickly and ran in the bathroom. What are you talking about, Kibo? Maki, why is it so easy for you to believe Kaito is dead? Well, you look so happy, Suiki. <laughs> <laughs> right? Hey, it's almost time for the past job to start, right? Does no one ever find Kikichi? I wonder. I haven't heard from anyone. I wonder where he's off to. He did? Did he disappear? He can't still be in the hangar. Or under the. Oh my god, we're they both dead! Oh, that would be fucked. Like, Okichi thought he was some hot shit, and Kaito's like, Nah, bitch, you're coming with me. You that, rolled his that, ass that under be, there. That never even crossed my mind. <laughs> oh, man. Suichi, do you think the one who died was Kokichi? Huh? I mean, your face doesn't want to think that. But I think that's just plain impossible. Kokichi's been manipulating us all from the start. I can't believe someone like that could be killed by Kaito. Yeah, Kaito sucks. He'd never be able to handle Kiki- uh, I mean, of course, I don't mean to come compliment Kikichi and make fun of Kaito or anything. I know, you're probably right. So maybe he has a good point. It's not enough clues to conclude that Kikichi is dead. But I'm certain that one of them must have. I mean, by the clues it seems more like Kaito had set up for Kikichi to die. But then Kikichi's like, unfortunately for you, I was five steps ahead. <laughs> Evil looking for you, you know. They have to get to the bathroom. They're gonna ask you to go with a robot from the bathroom. What's on Hinko's mom? Nope. Okay. <laughs> She's taking weird things. We are not checking his equipment. What the heck? What? Oh. Almost stuff? When did that get here? Kibo, what are you looking at? Take a look at this. Down the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> these are Kokichi's clothes? It's soaked and wrinkled, but there's no doubt these are Kokichi's. Where did you find this? I didn't see it while I was investigating the bathroom. Why are they soaked? Well, the toilet seemed clogged, so I reached my hand down to the drain and pulled out these clothes. It looks like they couldn't be flushed all the way. Couldn't be flushed all the way. Why were these in clothes in the toilet in the first place? Yes, it is very brave of me, and thanks to that, I managed to find an important clue. Now, Suiki, please investigate as much as you want. Uh, uh, I'm not touching that. Yeah, I'm not touching that shit. Clogging the toilet, huh? This isn't time to hesitate. Uh, no. God, my... why? What is my life? <laughs> oh, Monokuma hoop poop poop poop. Go keep these clothes. I found them in the bathroom. 
They were found in the toilet. Someone must have tried to flip them down. But who would do that? It's something to matter. Please investigate. Uh, okay. The ultimate detective can't stop here. This has to be an important clue. Alright. I made up my mind. I grabbed Kokiki's soaked clothes and I spread them I open. Forget. You can't do this. Oh. There's a small hole in the back. Damn. Sniped. And another small hole in the sleeve. Damn. Double sniped. Wait, what? What? Then why is there a hole in Kaito's sleeve? Well, that's... That's two out of three. And this is about the same size as the one in Kaito's sleeve. There are traces of blood around the holes, too. What does this mean? It could mean that he was attacked. In that case... There's a chance Kokiji is the one crushed by a draw press. Why are you even wearing Kaito's clothes? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Switchy's face! He's so There's happy! There's a chance that he's dead! Yes! <laughs> Kibo, thank you! This thank is you! Important. This is a very important clue! Oh, I'm happy I was able to help, but I must decline shaking that that hand of yours. Ugh, your hands aren't clean either, though. Grabs his hand anyway. Oh god, please, let go! <laughs> I cannot do that, I can't do that, Kibo. We're both people after all. <laughs> or are you being <laughs> Are you being homophobic? Wow. I am not home I am not he homophobic! Technically, I guess it would be homophobic, homo sapiens, hey, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> If Kokiji was the one crushed in the holodrive press, where did Kaito go? Why not show himself? And why is this game still going, even though the mastermind is dead? Um, if this is awkward, Suichi, I can leave you and give you some privacy. Oh pricing. my god, Kibo! <laughs> You're concerned about that? Literally, grow, grow the fuck up. But I am 16 years old in human years, I don't care. Kibo and I washed our hands in the sink. Off the bathroom. Technically, he's however long we were in cold storage in human years. That's possible. <laughs> oh. Uh -uh. <laughs> it's time to stay. It's time for the class trial. <laughs> uh. You kept expecting him not to talk, and he's talking over you. Meh. I guess this is the last one. Oh. Straight out calling him out. Oh boy. Kaito and Kokiji both show up. And we're I like, would be wait, so wait. fucking confused. <laughs> I was like, wait, who's dead? <laughs> Everyone needs to be there. That means Kokiji or Kaito, whoever is alive, will be there. The trial. We'll know for sure who the victim is. <laughs> Kokiji just drives an exile into the trial. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, hey Baki, can't get me. Nah, 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 nah. You will shit. <laughs> It's time. I'll go on ahead. I mean, there's no way in freaking hell that Himiko did it, so. God damn. Ma Maki's dealing with it in her own way. We're out of time. Let's head to the trial grounds. We need to settle our business with Kokichi. already started. All of us. That means Kokichi will come too. Oh man. Oh my man. It really will blow my mind if it's Kaito that shows up. Oh, uh, I'm not liking this. I don't know. What we're gonna to open. Think. It. We're finally opening Schrodinger's box. Yeah. I don't want to open Schrodinger's box because it's gonna be bad no matter what. Wait, wait, wait. Look back. Eh? The exiles. Let's make sure they're all there. All right. Yeah, they're still there. Uh, I, I'm being sure for glitches in the matrix right now. <laughs> Waiting for the fucking place to start coming apart at the seams or some shit? Exactly. Uh, this is gonna suck. <laughs> so, who's in here? 
Uh, survey says... What? This is a good one, right? Kaito and Kokichi aren't here. But Kokichi's already there. As the mastermind of the kill game is waiting for us to arrive. Don't we know. don't know that yet. There's still a chance Kaito was alive. Cut it out. Do you want to die? Maki. This is a battle between hope and despair. If I show any weakness like you are, then I know I'll lose to despair. Lose to despair? Six of us will participate, and one of us will die after this class trial. The only five will be left will be the only five. That's right. We're the only ones left. But we can't lose to despair. Even if we have no future, we need to win. That is, the whole point of this class trial. I will defeat Kokichi, no matter what I have to sacrifice. <clears throat> So, no what she has to I never I never actually considered this a thought. But could have Maki done it? <laughs> that is a possibility, but how would she have gotten in? Because <clears throat> she's freaking Maki. She's the ultimate assassin. That is a fair argument. Are you sure about that, Maki? <laughs> Are you sure about that? Is that what you call hope? Okay, you need to edit John Cena's face over that Monokuma statue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you sure about that? I know we can't lose to despair, but something is wrong. Something doesn't feel right. I wonder what Kaito would say at a time like this. What would he say to us? <laughs> Kaito just walks if in. If it was behind Kaito. <laughs> Alright. What would Kaito say? <laughs> I'd say, hurry your asses up and get a move on. Suichi, I understand you don't want to believe it, but Kaito's not here anymore. I'm fine. I'll be on my gut the whole time. I'm filled with the combined power of hope and magic right now. God damn it, this is gonna hurt. That's Let's it. go! No matter what Kokichi is scheming, there's no way we can lose. After all, we're the students of Hope Speak Academy. Speak Kokichi, no matter what I have to sacrifice, we can't lose. All right. Oh, man. Whew. I'm not liking this, man. I'm not liking this. <laughs> you don't say. We didn't say a word to one another. Sound as a tomb. We stepped into these doors. Kaede, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? That would fuck me up. <laughs> that would be the stone that just fucking put me over the edge into a what in the fuck tear. Oh god, this is empty. We had lost the will to live, knowing what we knowing what we know about the outside world. But somehow, despite that despair, we had found a new reason to live. To win the battle between hope and despair. But now what do we know? We don't know what hope means to us anymore. What is hope? A burden you bear? Oh boy. As those thoughts pierced my mind, I suddenly stopped. I can't think about things like that anymore. The only thing I need to think about is survival. What? This class volume is different. It's like the ones in Hope's Peak Academy. Yeah. Why is it like this? Ah, a battle like this takes me back. After all, open despair and natural enemies. Yes, this is a truly magnificent theme. <laughs> Only esteemed works of fiction have themes as magnificent as this. Anyways, where's Kokichi? Why isn't he here? Maka was right. The person who should have been here isn't. Well, I'll tell you once the trial starts. What's going on? What are, you, what are you scheming now? It doesn't matter what Kokichi is scheming. This is the final battle between hope and despair. It all ends here. Kokichi can twist and violate the rules all he likes, but we'll never give up. Hope will never submit to despair. Oh, for the love of... No rules have been violated, not on my watch, you know. 
Whatever, hurry up and start. We'll end this with the class trial with the feet of evidence instead, no matter what. So get ready. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Now let's get started. Equal mix, equal parts of life and death, and a dash of life and truth, lies and truth, bacon fire, the bacon fires of conflict. And when it's golden brown and bubbling, you have yourself a truly decadent class child. This is gonna be bad. Once more, we face a class trial. Was the one who died Kaito or Kokiki? I can't say for certain, but I still believe. Kaito wouldn't die so easily. I don't know why I believe that so strongly. Oh, he's purple this time, but I will fight to prove it. I will fight with everyone. Oh, so it's Kokiki. Yeah. To grasp on the hope of the other side of this truth. I will fight. I will fight in this class trial of truth and lies. Alright, we're gonna end the episode here. <laughs> so, thank you all so very much for watching. Have yourselves a nice day, evening, or afternoon. And remember, insanity is truly bliss. Peace. Any last words? Nah, uh, nothing to say at the moment. <laughs> Peace.